Oh, hello, hello, welcome to this quick video. This time I want to go over a very simple concept, but I believe it's important for those who are trying to figure this out, and that is transferring data between one computer running Linux and another computer, whatever that computer is, through the web browser. So let's say that this is your uh, Linux computer, this one right here. And then we have the, uh, this is Linux, and this is uh, Windows, just as an example. And on this computer, you have files that you would like to transfer to your Windows computer. Or we can also say that from this computer, Windows computer, you want to pull files from uh, the Linux computer. And it's super simple. Now, if you have a Ubuntu box, something that you can do is spin up a, um, a web server and then access the web server from this computer. And there are many different ways that you could do that within minutes or perhaps seconds without having to install Apache, which is a pain on the neck if you don't need it installed, right? And the best and simple way for you to do that is by using um, Python, the HTTP server in Python. So what you need to do, as you can see, this is my uh, directory. I'm into this uh, uh, temp1 direct directory. Let me uh, come in here. Let me do a less. As you can see, I have one file here. And what you need to do, you need to run Python. Let me just type it in here. Python 3 minus M and you want to specify that you want to run the HTTP server and then you need to specify the board that you want to run that on. So just make sure you understand the syntax in here and the most important aspect of the syntax is this. You need to specify the listening port, meaning that on this computer HTTP, which is the service, it's not going to be running on the default port 80, it's going to be running on 8888. So when you connect to this web server, you have to specify that port. So let's do that. Hit enter and then we're going to connect to it. And as you can see, this is listening on any interface on port 8888 on this computer. So let me bring a uh, Windows computer here and I'm going to type the IP address of that. It's 888. And I'm here, as you could see, in that directory and I'm seeing that file, right? So remember, as you could see, this is the connection. It's showing where I am connecting from. You see the gets and then the HTTP commands and if I do ls you're gonna see that I have the same file that is listed here. Uh, to download it just click on it and it's gonna download it to your computer and then you could do whatever you want to do with this. So this concludes this video of how connecting to a Linux computer over HTTP to transfer files from. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, or if you know of anyone who can benefit from, the, from this content, please feel free to share this video as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video.